Hello everyone and welcome back to Kentucky Garden Gal. This is Nancy and I'm at the farm uh, making this video and I am standing at the back of the house where there is a hill that is very overgrown, very rocky and uh, I have been trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this area. I knew that uh, it's becoming more overgrown. You see all of the cedars right there. I need to get in there and clip those out. But it's, um, it's just an area that at one time, my dad had this in flowers. It was absolutely beautiful, but it took a lot of care. Like he and his uh, girlfriend just made this their project and they worked on it every day. I mean, it was just, if I find, if I can go in the house and find some pictures, I'll put some pictures up. So, uh, the last several years, uh, because of dad's declining health, he really had not been able to get out and do anything. It, 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 the weed eating is the best way to keep this, uh, cleaned up. You can't, you can't mow it. You can't get even a push mower in there. So, we have been trying to pay to have it weed eaten the last several years, and it just seemed like we weren't gaining any ground. It just, you know, I wasn't satisfied with it. So, then I had thought that I would put goats back here. Well, then you have to have a fence. Then you have to have a guardian dog because of predators. And with me not being here full time, that just didn't seem uh, that it, that was going to work out. So I had been thinking and thinking and thinking, what do I do with this area? And one of the things that I definitely want to do is support the habitat. And we are bird watchers, bird lovers. And I think I have finally come up with an idea of something that will be beneficial uh, to the birds. It will look better than what you're seeing here now. And as far as maintenance go, I don't think it'll be too bad because, you know, I'm not getting younger, I'm getting older, and I, I have to consider those things when I'm going to do a project. So, a bird sanctuary. I want to turn this into a bird sanctuary. And in case you're interested, or if you just want to ramp up the birds in your backyard, here are some suggestions for trees that you might want to consider. So now that I have finally made the decision that that's what I want to do with that area, let's talk about how I'm gonna do it step by step. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, you saw there was a lot of cedars there. I'm gonna go in and clip those off. Um, I want to remove anything that isn't native. There is some sage type grass up there that I need to get rid of and I have to um, I have to look into exactly how I do that. Uh, we definitely want to limit the use of pesticides, but as we're getting started, in order to get rid of something that is, uh, a, an obnoxious weed and non-native or invasive, I can kind of justify using some, some Roundup, something like that. So the trees that I know that I want to plant, and I'm also thinking about the trees that I have access to either in my garden in Franklin or from friends' gardens, because if you just sit out and you're gonna go buy a truckload of trees to plant, you better take a lot of money because uh, some of these trees can be quite pricey. But I am learning more about propagation and which trees uh, to propagate. And I, I do wanna do a video on that and show you guys what I'm doing. But one of the things that I have in my garden at home is a Savannah Holly. And that is a tree that the birds just love. And you know, for years, I have seen uh, little baby trees, little saplings pop up and didn't think much about them and I just pull them up and boy, I should have been pulling those up and potting them. So 
uh, that's one of the things that I am definitely gonna have probably at least three of those trees. I think I want like an oak sort of in the center, maybe a spruce in the center because that provides such good um, habitat for the birds. So keep in mind that we are wanting shelter and food for our birds so that they can build nests, they can hatch out their babies, they can find insects in the ground um, to eat. So uh, one of the things that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna take some T-post. And you saw how the area is really uh, sloped. So I'm gonna take T-post and the sticks that I pick up that's fallen out of some of the trees that are there, I'm gonna stack those up so that I can create a little habitat for them to nest in. And um, also, I am going to plant plenty of the smaller trees like um, the dogwoods and the spice, uh, spice bush. The songbirds love those. I'm gonna plant more peach trees. I know there's one peach tree up there, but um, the decaying fruit, all the the insects and the birds they all love the decaying fruit and in November you can take a peach pit and I would probably take two or three but you can just take a peach pit and you can stick it in the ground now you have to dig a little hole for it you know you want to get it quite deep and then you just watch that and see if it sprouts a tree so if it does if it happens to sprout three trees then you're gonna pull out two and just keep the stronger one but this is this bird sanctuary is something that I'm not going to be doing it overnight. It's it's going to be something that I work on a little bit at a time, and uh, I think I am going to put the burning bush around the edge of it to sort of enclose it. And the reason that I picked that bush is because number one, I have several of those at my garden in Franklin, and in November, again, you can take just a, a stem from a burning bush, put it in the ground, and it will root. So this November, I will be doing uh, my willow and my burning bush like that, and then also planting some peach trees. I am going to try to propagate the uh, dogwoods. A friend of mine will actually have some that I could get some cuttings from. But we also want to remember to plant flowers like sunflowers and asters, things like that. Uh, any plants that we know that the birds love to eat. And um, echinacea, the cone flowers, that's also a, a really uh, good one to plant. And black eyed Susans. And I just have hundreds of black eyed Susans at my garden in Franklin. So. I'm just gonna come, I'll, as I come, I'll bring, you know, a start of this, a start of that, and just try to get it started there on that little hill so that eventually, um, in the coming years, we have a good place for the birds to have a natural habitat and sanctuary, and we can enjoy watching those. Um, now, one thing I do want to mention, I do have a window back there that's that's pretty big, so I am going to have to do something with that window as far as putting either stickers on it or something so the birds don't fly into it. And we don't have any cats on the farm right now, but if we, I've been thinking about getting some barn cats um, for the barns. But if I do, I'll put collars with bells on so that, you know, the birds at least have a, have a fighting chance before they're pounced upon. And hopefully everything can coexist together. But I hope that this has encouraged you and I've given you some ideas about trees that you can add to your own backyard. And really, uh, I had, I have a lot of these trees in my backyard at my house in Franklin, and I've always noticed that when I'm out there, I just see an amazing number of birds in the backyard, and it's because of the trees that I have planted back there. So basically, I'm just gonna replicate this in this one particular area at the farm, and uh, the nice thing about it is there is a deck off of the side of the house that looks into this bird sanctuary 
and we can sit there, hopefully, uh, as this thing grows and, you know, provides more food for the birds and shelter and safety, and we can just document the birds that we see come into our yard and to our sanctuary. So, um, I thank you all for watching. I appreciate we have a number of new subscribers, and I really do appreciate you guys. I know there are so many gardening channels out there, and I appreciate you listening to me. So I hope everyone has a great week, and I will see you Thursday with Thrifting Thursday.